Recently, I've been getting a lot of comments asking about drugstore eyeliner pencils to tight line with or to smudge out on the lash line, and as always, you ask, I deliver. Today I'll be comparing five drugstore waterproof eyeliner pencils in black. I'll share which is my favorite, but I'll drill them all down so you can decide which would work best for you. But first, if you're new here, hi, my name is Miranda. Welcome to my channel where we talk all things budget beauty. If that sounds interesting to you, then become the newest member of the Slash squad by hitting subscribe and the bell icon. Let me introduce you to today's contenders. Now these are all drugstore eyeliner pencils that I've owned multiples of, but I guess we'll find out which comes out on top today. Our first eyeliner of the day is the L'Oreal Infallible Long Wear Eye Pencil. This liner is $8.99 and I've compared this multiple times to the Urban Decay 24-7 Glide On Eyeliner Pencil, which is probably like the best that exists. This is probably the closest dupe at the drugstore that I've found. It's been my go-to drugstore eyeliner for tight lining for years. Next up, we have a little bit of a newer release. This is the Wet n Wild Breakup Proof Waterproof Retractable Eyeliner. So they do have the Breakup Proof Liquid Eyeliner, which I tested in my drugstore liquid eyeliner video, but the retractable one is supposed to be just as impressive. It's $2.99. I've used it several times without too many complaints, so we'll see how it holds up against the others. Next up, we have the e.l.f. No no budge retractable eyeliner. This is $4 and the one thing that stands out to me about this liner is that I remember it being a little bit drier and stiffer of a formula. So we'll see how it compares. Then we have the Revlon So Fierce Vinyl Eyeliner. This is $8.99 and is supposed to give you a shiny finish while still being waterproof and smudge proof. And finally, the drugstore eyeliner pencil that has won over my heart this year. It's probably the one that I've been using the most frequently, the Essence Extreme Lasting Water waterproof eye pencil. This is $2.99 and I have been using it in both black and brown on the waterline to smoke out and I always just love my results with it. Now that we have them all swatched side by side, let's get into our first category comparison, which has the richest black color. I was really surprised looking at these swatches that the Wet n Wild and the Elf pencils both look almost brown next to the other three. They're just a little bit duller. Maybe it's because they have a warmer undertone Tone, but I do prefer a very dark, rich black. To my eyes, the Essence Pencil looked like the richest, truest black, and then right behind it came L'Oreal and Revlon. Now let's compare the finishes of these eyeliners. Now I personally prefer a matte finish with my eyeliner in both pencil and liquid form. So that's what I was looking for. And out of these five, I think that the Essence Liner as well as the Elf Liner definitely gave me the most flat matte finish. Obviously the Revlon So Fierce Vinyl Eyeliner is going to be the shiniest out of this lineup and that is on purpose. It's supposed to have that vinyl finish. And I'd say the L'Oreal and the Wet n Wild pencils are both for the most part matte, but the others just look a little bit more flatter. Now for the retractable versus traditional debate. If you don't wanna have to deal with sharpening your pencils, then we've narrowed it down to two options. Out of these two, I think that the Wet n Wild Breakup Proof Liner is a lot easier to use than the e.l.f. one. Like I mentioned earlier, the e.l.f. one has just a bit drier of a formula. It's not as creamy. So not only does this make it a a little bit more challenging to smoke out if you want a smudgier look. But I also find myself needing to really layer this up with moderate pressure when I'm tight lining. The Breakup Proof Liner is definitely more creamy, it's soft, it glides on easier. However, with a softer formula also comes the risk of breaking the tip off. And actually the first time I went in to swatch this today, I did break like a centimeter of the liner off and that's wasted product. So just be careful. Out of the traditional pencils, the Revlon pencil definitely sharpens the easiest. It turns very smoothly in the sharpener and you can get a pointed tip each time. The other two, the Essence and the L'Oreal, they always sharpen a little jagged for me and it's really hard for me to get that precise point. I have no idea why I use the same sharpener on all of them, but these two have always given me just a little bit of trouble. Now let's talk about which ones are the most waterproof. 
So for this test, I held the swatches underneath running water and I was actually very, very shocked with what I saw. As the water was running, some of these swatches actually repelled water. As you can see from this clip, with the running water, it sort of runs around the L'Oreal and Wet n Wild swatches as well as the Essence swatch at the end. Whereas with the Elf and Revlon swatches, the water did sort of run over the swatch. Now when I angled my arm so that all of the swatches were getting direct contact with water, there was absolutely no running going on. The water itself didn't cause any of these eyeliners to break down or start smearing on their own. So as far as a simple waterproof claim, I think all of these held their own. However, I wanted to test out which of these eyeliners stayed budge proof after being exposed to water. Because in a realistic scenario, whether your eyes are tearing up, maybe you're full on crying, or maybe you're out in the rain, you're most likely going to be dabbing at your makeup or maybe trying to wipe away wetness. And I wanted to see how the liner would react to that. So with very firm pressure, I went and dragged my hand over the swatches. Right off the bat, I saw the Revlon liner starting to break down and smear. That was the most obvious and the first one to be compromised. And while they stayed pretty strong and solid, both the L'Oreal and Wet n Wild swatches did have a bit of smearing underneath the swatch. The swatches that held up the best virtually unaffected were the e.l.f. swatch and the Essence swatch. And the final test I wanted to put these eyeliners up against was a makeup wipe. Being that these are all waterproof liners, I wanted to see how hard they were to remove. So I'm using my go-to wipe from Neutrogena and here you can see that they are all definitely affected by the wipe, but I did have to go in with the wipe several times for all of them. I did notice that the Wet n Wild Breaka Proof Liner was kind of the last one standing. It didn't take much more to remove that one, but it was definitely the one that was hanging on. But also keep in mind that all of these swatches were slightly wet. This was after I ran them under the water. So splashing your face with some water before you go in with the wipe can help. Okay, it's time to share with you my favorite of these five and I'm actually very surprised with how it performed because I kind of considered it the underdog. I gotta give it to the Essence Extreme Lasting Waterproof Eye Pencil. Not only do I think this did the best out of all of these little tests, but it's $2.99. So for the cost, you're getting incredible performance. Now I will say though that out of all of these pencils, this has one of the more limiting shade ranges if you're looking for something other than black. Black. The Essence Pencil comes in black, gray, brown, and beige. Out of these five, the pencil with the largest shade range is the L'Oreal Infallible Pencil, which I would say is a very close second for me after the Essence one and still a favorite of mine. This comes in 15 shades. There are neutral colors as well as more bright and bold options like purple, blue, teal, and gold. So if you want a little more variety but you still want a solid formula, this would be your choice. I wanna know out of these liners which looks like it would work best for you and your routine. Tell me in the comments below. Today's shout out goes to Celest. Thanks for being a member of the Slashed Squad. And join me over in this video next where I test and compare the best drugstore liquid eyeliners. I'll see you over there. Bye.